ESPN's presentation of the Automobile Club of Southern California Finals is brought to you by Powerade. Sport is what you make it. The Auto Club, we're always with you. And Visa, go on, live life. And remember that no matter what it takes, life takes Visa. When he's the only driver to win the championship without winning a national event, he won with the three finals. Actually was in the final at the in the in the world finals back when it was at Ontario Motor Speedway and lost to the legendary Big Daddy Don Garland. Will Eddie Craywick be able to get this win over Chris Rivas? And Chris Rivas, what a story this year. Four wins, three of them coming in the countdown to the championship. But I want to know, where did this 692 with a 9 come from? I honestly don't know. Um, Big George Smith is the baddest tuner on the planet from s, &S. I mean, he designs most of the parts and everything that goes into the bike for the s, &S stuff. i tell you what, though, Fred Fox, Drag Specialties, thank you guys very much. These guys have supported us and supported me as a rider. Everybody believed in me. George Smith from s, s George Bryce from G-Squared Motorsports. They believed in me from the very beginning that I could get this job done on this bike this year. And we proved it. We just missed a few spots in qualifying, you know. And that would have given us the championship. But number two, fantastic. Woo! Chris Rebus, he is the winner here in Pomona. Now, pro stock, Kurt Johnson and Greg Anderson. The winner here will take second in the pro stock points. Everybody's racing for second place right now, and this is a great match of two evenly matched race cars. Greg Anderson with the lane choice in that left-hand lane, as everybody in pro stock car has been in that left-hand lane. Here, all the other categories doesn't seem to make much of a difference for lane choice. Greg ran a couple of 662s coming in the final. Kurt was right behind them with a 663 in the semifinal. In wow, final rounds runs. with a low EP of the race of 661 with a five track record EP, 209 miles an hour. Greg Anderson, a sixth victory this season more than any other driver in the division, but no championship to show for it. Does this help assuage some of that disappointment? Absolutely, Gary. Uh, you know, I come out today and the best thing I could have done is finish second. And that's like winning a championship for me because the other one was already locked up. My hat's out to Jag. He earned it. He won the championship. But that was quite a battle there. You know, Kurt's a great competitor. I love the guy. I love racing. We race great every time we race. That was for second place. It's going to be to us like winning a championship. It proves everybody out there we're not going away. Uh, the, the rumors of our demise are probably a little bit too early. We're going to be back next year. And uh, second feels great right now. But, you know, next year I want that number one back. And I'm going to have to prove it. I feel the only thing that uh, cost us the championship this year with me, I'm the only one that can rectify that. I think I can. I'm coming back harder than ever next year. And I want to thank all the guys at Summit Racing Equipment, all the employees for sticking behind me. And, and the times I've screwed up, this one's for you guys. Now it's the funny car final. Cruz Pedragon, it would be a total triumph if he can also win this race after taking the championship, looking to win here at the finals for the first time ever. Ed the Ace, who won his last race as a funny car driver here in 1990, and Ron Capps in the cockpit of that car hasn't won a race this season. the end of the season uh, didn't get the win but uh, came up second there yeah uh, I made a little mistake up there I rolled in like my first light and then uh, it trickled in and lit the second light and uh, I, I thought okay I gotta get my head here and uh, I knew how long the cruise takes to stage so <clears throat> I counted a couple of seconds pulled a pop and and went in and uh, he was pretty gracious uh, he probably saw me in trouble a little bit there but 
Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate to win that, uh, to lose that way. And uh, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm so upset at myself right now. We had a great day. I won on a whole shot last round. You live and die by the sword. And uh, all those Napa Auto Parts people, I mean, all 7,000 stores out there, all the customers, man, we love you guys. And we look forward to 2009. All right, we'll see you next year. Rod Fuller and Larry Dixon both looking to win their second race of the season. For Rod Fuller, it would be his first win ever at Auto Club Raceway. Larry Dixon, he has never won in the finals. And for Hot Rod Fuller, this is his last race with crew chief Rob Flynn doing a fantastic job the last few races. It seems like they found their stride again that they had at the beginning of the year and end last season. Larry Dixon, though, been running, running very consistent. Nice runs, and Larry, I mean, he is unflappable on that starting line. And looking on, of course, Don the Snake. Put that one down wow. with a big engine explosion for Larry Dixon. It was expensive, but it's a win nonetheless. 383, 300 miles an hour. And quickly with Bruce Pedregon. Wow, what a way to finish. Three consecutive victories, the championship. Does this look like a dream cruiser? It is. It's like a dream. I, you know, once we get on a roll, I didn't really even feel like driving. This championship meant so much to me. And Advanced Auto Parts, my guys, uh, uh, Ron Tobler and everybody, that I, I thought, you know, I don't even feel like driving. But you get in the car, you get that competitiveness. We have the edge. I, I feel good. We got a good car. We just... We're one at a time, and here we are, but, uh, hey, Ron Cap's a class guy, tough guy, Jim McCullough, I was, you know, McCullough's a friend of mine, and, uh, but for Advanced Auto Parts, man, times are tough, guys, sorry about the fires in California, guys, be safe. Thank you, Cruiser, and let's go to Dave Reef with the snake. Oh, Larry Dixon, I haven't seen that kind of emotion out of you for a while. What's it mean to win going into the off-season like this? Well, winning two events in a season where Schumacher's won 15, it's, uh, it's monumental. I mean, uh, everybody on the U.S. Most was Jake Zakuma car. They did great. You know, in the final round, I think I towards the finish line, and the thing, like, laid over. And I was like, oh, God, he's going to drive around me. And I uh, saw the wind light come on, and it <laughs> blew up. And, you know, we got all winter to fix it. And, uh, but it's, uh, what a way to go. The last time I was in the finals, I was in my 20s. And let me tell you, I'm in my 40s now, so to be able to finally get a win at the finals is, uh, you know, uh, we're going for it. <laughs> All right, congratulations. And let's go to John Curran. With Hot Rod Fuller, a runner-up finish. I know you would have liked to have won, but you did take out your arch enemy today, Tony Schumacher. Yeah, I mean, it was a great day. Uh, you know, two two, week, two races in a row, being in two finals and not getting it done, but uh, you know, beating Tony Schumacher, stopping him from getting that... Uh, that uh, streak uh, from Greg Anderson and, you know, beating them the last time when they're together. I mean, those two, uh, probably the greatest two drag racers for us ever to be in. I could say I was the last person to beat them. And I'm very blessed. Uh, had a great season. And the Caterpillar is coming back next year. And uh, I'm, I'm coming out with a vengeance next year. We'll see you then. I'm Rod Fuller. Great guy. Well, Mike Dunn, 24 races. We've come to the end. We've crowned our champions. Boy, and what a year it was, especially for that man, Tony Schumacher. Ties a single season NHRA record with uh, round wins and race wins. Didn't get those records today when Hot Rod took him out in that second round. But what a fantastic season for all of our champions. Congratulations to every one of them. So, with this season done and looking ahead to next season, we come up with a new series sponsor, still out of the Coca-Cola Company, but full throttle. What do you expect out of next year? Well, more, more of the same. You know, we're going to keep racing a 1,000 foot. And the one thing about 1,000 foot, whether you like it or not, we've seen a lot of close side-by-side -side racing, and I expect we're going to see a lot more of that in 2009.